574 does nothing to promote hatred or bigotry. It does nothing to discriminate against an adult who has made an adult decision. What it does do is protect children from making childish decisions. Anyone who is a parent knows that their kids make decisions based upon the worst criteria. Peer pressure, lack of information, emotions, popularity, and today more than ever, social media pressure. And I think that we can all agree that kids are under more pressure today than ever. I shared in previous testimony that as a child there were three things that I knew about me that were certain. First, even though I was not raised in a church-going family, I knew that there was a God who loved me. Secondly, even though physical or verbal expressions of love were not common in that era, I knew, I, when I was a kid, I knew that my parents loved me. And lastly, I knew that I was a boy and someday I would grow up to be a man. Those three things were certain to me and to most kids who grew up in the 60s and 70s, but unfortunately, many kids don't have the security of knowing any of those three things today. According to commonly recognized statistics, most kids are not living in a family that regularly exp expresses their faith. Most are in a family that have experienced divorce or the kids of a single parent. No dig on single parents. That's the hardest job in the world to be both mom and dad to your kids. And my wife and I have a special place in our hearts for single parents. And lastly, nearly all are being told that the one thing they knew about themselves the most, that they are a boy or a girl, might be a mistake. Is it any wonder that the teen suicide rate has skyrocketed? Is there any question about why kids are reacting with violence against one another? Is it shocking that school behavior and performance is declining? When you remove all of the securities from a child, you shouldn't be surprised when they act and react poorly. Opponents of 574 say that the suicide rate in kids is up because gender aff affirmation is being withheld from them. I postulate that the suicide rate has increased because their lives have been filled with question marks rather than affirmation of who they truly are and who they were created to be.